full disclosure, how would you like to be stuck every single day having to do the very same thing, eat the very same things, wear the very same things, go the very same places with no variation? That would be positively and undeniably tragically boring, wouldn't it, beloved? And because that would be tragically boring, being boring is not only the tragic part about it. It means life would be tasteless, purposeless, and meaningless if we are stuck like hamsters on a wheel going around in circle. And that is not how this life is. And Christ said, According to your faith, be it unto you. He also said that all things are possible to him that believes. And that's a very beautiful concept. Possible. Possibility is a principle. Possibility is a reality that is brought into existence by the power of choice by your imagination and by you choosing to bring that which is in your imagination through your personal effort that thing that you are imagining into reality so possibility is a beautiful thing a possibility is a gift of god that he has created us with if god did not create the law of possibility And this law of possibility is expressed through our decisions that we make. And whatever definite purpose that we seek to establish for our own self. So we have a power of choice that is brought to us by the goodness of God who first created the law of possibility. And so the law of possibility is predicated upon human beings having a choice to choose which possibility that they personally want to experience. This, beloved, is the gift of God. So you can choose the path that you want to choose. And this was the first thing in the Garden of Eden. This is one of the first concepts that God introduced to Adam and Eve. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 9, it says, And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So the very first test that man was given, the very first defining principle that tested man and woman in the garden of eden was the law of possibility and so the law of possibility was put before adam and eve in the form of the tree of life and in the form of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and so god tested their volitional capacity to choose god tested them on their power of choice and god allowed and he illustrated adam and eve to see and know that based on which choice you choose based on your usage of the law of possibility through your freedom of choice it will determine your present reality do i need to repeat that beloved based upon the law of possibility through you using your freedom of choice it will determine your reality so the choice is yours beloved the choice is yours for you to buy your freedom of choice using the law of possibility create the reality of your life your present experience and your eternal destiny and so this was an act of 
full disclosure to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden where God illustrated to them a mighty power that they possess, a gift that he gave them because he is fear, he is not a tyrannical dictator, he allowed them to see your life is the, the life that you live is based upon the choices that you make because I've created a law of possibility. Things become possible based upon the choices that we make. And God, God in the Garden of Eden, this was an act of love. This was an act of full disclosure. He had nothing to hide. If God was a tyrant, He would not have created us human beings with the freedom of choice. He would not have first created the law of possibility. Everything in God's government is based or built upon the foundation of wholeness, completeness, and freedom, beloved. So Adam and Eve were gifted with the power of choice and the understanding of the law of possibility. God did not have to do this. If God was not a God of love, he would not have done this. He would have simply created human beings to say yeah and amen or whatever he did, but he created us free. And because God loves freedom and he is not a slave master, he fully disclosed to Adam and Eve the power that was theirs, the power to choose. Beloved, what will you choose in your life today? Who will you choose? What path will you choose? Because God has fully disclosed to you the law of possibility that is empowered by your choices. I want to encourage you today, beloved. Do not repeat Adam and Eve's mistake. Choose life. This is the word of life with Andre Knight.